hello guys it's a new tutorial and i welcome you guys to today's video guys so in today's video guys i will be showing you how you can actually design what a professional what saloon flyer here on android smartphone using what the help of pixel app yes and without saying much guys if today is your first time please i'm begging you can you smash that subscribe button turn on notification sign i repeat subscribe and subscribe and turn on notification sign so you always get notified whenever I drop a new tutorial video and without further ado let me take you guys straight to pixel lab and show you guys how i was able to get this flyer done so this is the finishing touches of this flyer so so once you open your pixel lab this is the first step you will see so all you need to do is just delete this so after you've deleted all i need to do now guys is this let me just bring in the already designed image for i will be looking at it to do this tutorial so let me locate where the image is it's the already designed flyer so all i need is all i need is just to place this flyer by the side then after this let me bring in the background that i used for this tutorial so to bring in background watch my arrow sign you click here you see that then once you click it will bring it will take you to your phone gallery so then from here go to download then this is the background that i used can you see you bring it in then make it fit good excellent then you lock it up bring this to the front you see that then after this now bring in your typing work but before i do that let me first fix the images that i want to import here so to do that you still click on shapes when you click on shapes then increase the radius of this can you see the effect is given the radius the further the more forward you go the more it contours this so just to reduce it this is okay then reduce this image so you reduce the shape just bring the shape somewhere here go to edit again increase good then reduce it just reduce place it here copy place this here copy bring this here then copy bring the other here good then after that now let me bring in the like let me show you guys how i was able to insert these images inside the shape so this is how i did that guys but at this junction i'm begging you if you are new kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on notification side it is very very important just don't watch this video when you watch you subscribe please then turn on notifications and so you'll be the number one person that youtube will always notify whenever i drop a new tutorial video so all you need to do is just to click on the shape one of the shape then go to texture click by the side image icon there then select any image here of your choice so i'll be using this image you see that okay then you bring it in this is how the image looks like then use this to scale the image so this is okay by me perfect then click on this do the same thing go to texture then this opens you select the image you want to use so i'll be using this you click you see that you have this then increase this little perfect then click on this first one go to stroke enable your stroke then give it white outline stroke you see that so after you've make it white so the outline stroke is three click here go to outline stroke enable it you see that good then after that click on this particular one then still do the same thing go to texture click on that image icon by the side then you select the one you want to use there this then click here to rotate it you see that you bring it in click ok 
go to stroke enable your stroke you have that then click on this last this thing by down here still do the same thing guys so once you click locate your texture then bring in the image that's supposed to be there you have this then rotate it good then after this stroke go to stroke enable so you have this you see that then perfect after this now let me just lock all of them because i don't want to like move it out of this position that's where i want it to be then after that now let me bring in the name of this business so the name is what spotlight then you bring in what your your spotlight you see that then make all to be in capture letter place it here then go to font this is your font font icon is always represent with a b so once you click on font i used monstera black for the font do you see that good then you have this excellent just make it be somewhere here is okay then after that copy this test then make it to change it to saloon you have this saloon then go to font again don't forget you click on font then recent font i used this font for the saloon no this is not the font that i use for the saloon so let me quickly look for the font i use for saloon Sorry for keeping you guys waiting. I'm actually looking for that exact font that I use for salon. But if I did not see that, I can easily switch to. This is not the font. So go back to font. Go to recently used. okay so this is the font alex brush regular so this is the font that i used and after this increase this just move it out then click here make this s to be capital this is not the font guys okay so after you've selected the font that you want make sure that this saloon is at the center of the spotlight good then after that go to your color so this is my color so i will be using this color to see that good then so after you've selected this color now next you need to do is to bring in your services so to do that since i'm using the same font for the services so all i need to do is just to click on this spotlight copy it place it down here then double click change it to what service change it to services good okay so you have this okay let's see our services make sure that everything is aligning aligning bold it little bit up small perfect then after this now give it the same color with the saloon good then copy this now you bring in the stuff makeup nail fixing fixing of wig wig cup and wig installation so let me just bring in the stuff makeup nail fixing wake up 
rig installation and manicure let me just put manicure good so this is the services now that the person renders you reduce bring this here then go to your font i won't be using monstera bold this time around but i will still be using monstera but it won't be bold hope you are grabbing so let me look at my font check your monstera can you see i have a lot of them there is monstera black there is monstera extra bold and i'll be using normal monstera bold this so you have this, you reduce the two bits, make it readable. Good, then after this now go to line spacing, increase the line spacing. So it will look as if I listed it, I don't know if you get what I mean by listed it. Perfect, increase the two bits. Good, this is excellent so after you've done this next i did is this i just did something like arrow but before i bring in the arrow let me first bring in the columns that i placed my core stuff in so this you place this here you reduce this here guys you see that good then since this stuff is like this now so next i need to do is just copy make it copy again then place it here good so this is what you have so after this click on this one just make it align you know because graphic design is all about arrangement guys graphic design is all about arrangement So guys, uh, after you don't do that stuff, like when you are through with that, next thing you need to do is this. I'm just trying to like arrange those shapes that I inserted inside this design. Okay, so now next I need to do is this. Let me put in cost splash whatsapp so i'll be using this list of services font to do that then let's do call splash whatsapp good then you place it in here then go to color i'll be using the background color for this Good, then size reduce it make it fit inside the shape you see that perfect then copy again then bring in the number so bringing in the number now the numbers are what zero nine zero six seven two five 67, 25, 14, 9, 7. This is 1. Then copy. So copy. Bring the other down here. Then you change the digit. So you have this then after that if you can look closely here yeah, there is some arrow facing up stuff that i did there so this is how i come about the arrow so you click on text this new test pops up double click on this new test then i used this 
click on number then I use this you see that good then after you have selected you can rotate using this good then bring it here then after that go to your font I'm actually selecting font because I want it to be bolder in nature you see that good then place this stuff here reduce this make it be only on the listed services excellent then click here now go to color go you go to radiance color so you have this you see that so guys this is just the easiest way when i mean the easiest way the easiest way to do it to design to design good words good flyer using what your android smart phone so if you love this video i am begging you kindly smash the subscribe button be part of the family by subscribing then turn on notification side so you always get notified whenever i drop a new tutorial video thank you and guys catch you guys on my next tutorial video bye bye